Hi everyone, I'm a PhD student from the Laboratory for Image and Video Engineering at the University of Texas at Austin. In this video, I'm going to talk about a recent work we did on foveated video quality assessment. In this work, we propose a full reference model called foveated entropic differencing, or FED, which achieves state-of-the-art performance on both 2D and 3D live FBT FCVR databases. We would like to thank Facebook Reality Labs for their support and discussions during this work. In virtual reality, due to the new display technique for immersive videos, many new challenges have emerged. First of all, the human vision system can resolve about 120 pixels per degree at the foveal region, while the resolution of mainstream headsets are 15 to 40 ppd. We could expect a significant growth in the resolution of the headsets. Second, the immersive contents would inevitably include very bright regions such as the sun in the outdoor scenes and the windows and lights in the indoor scenes. In addition, to reduce uh, motion sickness, disorientation and other negative user experiences, the frame rate for rendering is recommended to be 90 fps or higher. So immersive contents tend to, to have HDR and HFR properties. Finally, not all 360 degrees of immersive contents, but only a viewport of a certain field of view it is, is, is displayed on the HMD. The system latency when users move their viewing directions is also an important factor when compressing or streaming immersive contents. In recent years, to remedy these challenges, foveated video compression and streaming is regaining interest. These systems usually include a, a displaying device with eye tracking integration, upstreaming of gaze directions, uh, foveated compression on the server side, and downstreaming of foveated contents to client display devices. There have been several systems in this field including early multi-resolution pyramid systems, which is based on contrast sensitivity functions, and recent efforts which involve adapting foveated compression into modern codecs such as AVC or HEVC. Naturally, it is very important to develop algorithms that can automatically evaluate the perceptual quality of foveated videos. Previous works have shown that the bandpass responses of natural images followed Gaussian scale mixture models, where the bandpass filters can be DCT decomposition, wavelet decomposition, and spatial predict predictive coding filters. In fact, any zero DC bandpass filters yield responses that follow GSM models. Natural scene statistics have been successfully deployed in IQA or VQA problems, and entropic differences of the GSM model between the reference and the distorted image are known to be good indicators of the perceptual quality. An interesting question that has never been explored before is, are these bandpass responses related to frequency information? If so, how are they related, and can we design foveated VQA algorithms based on that? Towards making progress in this direction, we propose a full reference foveated IQA or VQA model that connects signal processing with NSS. We first assumed that when restricted to a narrow frequency band, the NSS of bandpass responses often reflect its distortions expressed in that frequency band. Then we designed the FED algorithm whose architecture is described in the following figure. First, for the input uh, reference and distorted image pair, we applied DFT to transform each of them into the frequency domain. Second, we designed, a bank, uh, of, we designed a bank of filters in the frequency domain with narrow frequency bands and filtered each image. Then we modeled the bandpass responses of each subband after IDFT as GSM models and computed differences of the local entropies between the reference and the distorted images. Next, we weighted the lo spatial local entropy maps from each subband using contrast sensitivity functions whose frequencies were tuned to be the center frequency of each subband. Finally, we computed the absolute entropic differences between the reference and the distorted images and take the absolute sum. We compare the FED model with leading existing models including non-foveated or traditional models like PSNR, SSIM, VIF, and etc. We also implemented and included two foveated models, FWQI and FASSIM. In addition, we also created an intuitive method to evaluate foveated video quality. That is, we first applied foveated filtering to both the reference and the distorted images, then applied a non-foveated algorithm, speed IQA, to the foveated reference and the distorted images. The foveated filtering method we adopted, we adopted is one proposed by Dr. Bradley, which is based on a density model of, of midget ganglion cells. For FED, we set the number of subbands to 12. It may be seen that the proposed FED algorithm outperforms all traditional and legacy foveated algorithms. 
It may be also it, it may also be seen that FAT is even better than the intuitive full weighted filtering method. Thank you for watching this video and I would love to take any questions.